Okay, this video, what we're gonna do is you just, you know, use the Arduino to send signals in the RF range. I would say, wait, are you gonna send signals in the RF range? Like, literally, or no? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a tone. Uh, I think it's around... No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna play a tone. I'm gonna play the tone. I'm gonna use the tone melody app, uh, and that's gonna create a tone and that's gonna be played on digital number digital pin 9 so so now you have a tone that's playing on digital pin 9 and uh, what I'm saying is you can you can receive it on the you can receive it on your FM radio app and use that to do what not right so let's see the setup here and uh, I have I've tuned it to nine to six point zero megahertz and um, why you would say why you would ask and I don't really know the specific reason for it but I'm assuming this has a lot to do with the fact that the Arduino has a sixteen megahertz crystal oscillator and uh, I, like I said um, and its sampling frequency and it has it has to do with that but I, I don't have a clear criteria on that so I'm not, I'm gonna neglect that for now so here I have 96.0 megahertz and a tone playing on and through this wire and uh, let's see what happens and uh, so I'm putting it on speaker so you can hear what I, how it was happening let's increase the volume also So let's move around. Let's move away. Clearly, there's a so you can clearly see that the quality reduces after a few few centimeters. Really, I mean. So this is what I was trying around and I'm sorry. Uh, this is what I was trying around to increase the range. What I did was I placed another sort of wire on digital. Another pin I played the same tone but then I, I placed it in a perpendicular sort of sense. Uh, like our, our antennas are sort of like in perpendicular and I was able to increase the range increase the face that this thing worked on and what I mean by that is that this really works only if both things are like somewhat like in parallel but if my antenna receiving antenna is perpendicular to it it was very noisy so by introducing something like this in a perpendicular uh, in the perpendicular direction I was able to um, um, uh, like get a good signal in all phases in all the in all three in all 360 degree phase angles so that uh, so that's about it I guess and uh, it is extremely fascinating to me how this just would just come up to be in the RF range and you can just detect it on your FM radio app and go about leading your eye for that and let's say you want to send a signal from your uh, from your computer to your phone and not use the um, like not use the telecommunication antenna or I mean you have Wi-Fi but then you can what if you want to just send something you without using any sort of protocol I mean um, I mean any something something really simple that does not require any sort of protocol error. so in that sense this is really nice and uh, very useful if you ask me so that's about it bye